Our family bought its first television in 1949, and we all gathered around and plugged it in. And that very night, we saw Milton Berle doing a television comedy news skit. And people have been doing television comedy news skits ever since. And what you're about to see may be the last comedy news skit, at least the last one on our show. I can't speak for other shows. And now that may seem like a, a very foolish promise, but I think it's something we're gonna keep, and for one very good reason. Because nobody does this sort of thing any better than hippy dippy George Carlin. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Always a, coming out of the shade like that. Welcome to the nightly news. First story is a tragedy from here in Hollywood. Legendary silent film star Mark Dunbar died today. He had no last words. However, he did make several gestures. <laughs> the Nobel Prize in Mathematics has been awarded to a California professor who has discovered a new number. The number is Bleen, which he claims belongs between six and seven. The San Diego freeway was the scene of a freak accident today as six freaks in a camper crashed into three freaks in a van. You know what that means? That means we're going to Rome. No, not socially. I mean, we're cutting to Rome. Okay, Rome, cut. Hello, America. This is the Father Guido Sarducci, gossip columnist for L'Observatore Romano. And the Europe is my beat. I have just returned from France, where I uncovered a very big story. Some crooked, overzealous winemakers went and took a bunch of a cheap red wine and put labels on them to make people think it was really good stuff. At the first, everybody hid the truth, but I was determined to get to the bottom of the things. So I put on some funky dark glasses and went what he called undercover. One day, I'm cooling it. I'm in a little place under the left bank. Pretty soon, some people pick up some wine and I overheard them saying, what the color, what the bouquet, what's that swimming in my glass? <laughs> well, I sneak a quick peek look at the label, and where it's supposed to be the year, it says Thursday. <laughs> anyway, now I'm closer than ever to breaking the case. But to my friend, Father Gaglione, he gave me the first big clue that everything's not quite kosher. You see, he's a summer classy priest, and at the church one Sunday, you won't believe what he did. He sent the wine back. <laughs> anyway, pretty soon I hope everybody's going to go to jail, and who knows, maybe someday you'll see Robert Redford playing me in the movie, in the title, You Call This a Wine? <laughs> well, I gotta hit the road. I'm going to a big birthday bash for Cardinal Dario Fungi. He's 106 years old today, and I've arranged a great surprise for him. I'm flying his mother in from Naples, and I'm going to have her jump from the cake. <laughs> it should be really good. Well, from that music, I can tell that now we're going to America. No, no, no. I mean, we're going to cut to America. OK, America. Cut. Well, thank you, Father Gucci. A wonderful report. And say, give a special happy birthday to Cardinal Fungi from all of us here on Network Nighttime News, huh? Got a lot of Fungi freaks here on Nighttime News. <laughs> Medical researchers have discovered a new disease which has no symptoms. <laughs> it's impossible to detect, and there's no known cure. Fortunately, it's been confined to New Jersey. And speaking of pop art, New Jersey, the Garden State, let's go now to our consumer affairs correspondent, Cress Mursky, who once stepped in it. New Jersey, that is. Take it away, Cress. The win button has taught our family how to cut down, to whip inflation now. The twins are now sharing a room on the yacht. <laughs> The poodles are now eating dog food. We've put a payphone in our Bentley. 
our plumber no longer lives in. We put sturgeon in our pool and we are growing our own caviar. And this year, for the first time ever, to really get behind the president, our family has decided to pay taxes. George. Thank you, Chris. The Food and Drug Administration announced today that the glue on postage stamps causes air sickness in chickens. <laughs> They've also announced a change in policy. The Food and Drug Administration has said that because of the large numbers of unsafe foods on the market, from now on they will announce only the safe ones. <laughs> Today's list, macadamia nuts and wax beans. <laughs> Just got a bulletin. <laughs> Well, you're all gonna remember, I know, Miss Laurie Lynn Lawrence, the 1975 Rose Bowl queen, the girl who for 48 consecutive days has refused to leave her float. Well, tonight, there may be a breakthrough on this story. And our mini camera is going right now to Pasadena. Take it away, Minnie, in Pasadena. and serve it well as I was selected to do. To me, being Rose Queen... We mean business, Laurie Lynn. You gotta quit for the good of the country. Quit? <laughs> <laughs> quit? <laughs> Did Joan of Arc quit when the flames started? Did Florence Nightingale quit when the germs were spreading? Did Betty Crocker quit when her buns were burning? <laughs> no, sir. As far as I'm concerned, the tiara stays right here. Lori Lynn, this is your mother speaking. Mommy! Your father and I were watching you on the TV, and we thought we had to come down and tell you. Stay up there. You deserve it. It's yours to keep your father and I. We both right, love you. Listen to her, Lori. You know about the road, Paul. You're only queen for a day. Much more. A center square, a center box on Hollywood squares. Yes, I'm not just a fly by night queen. No, I have depth, talent, congeniality. I can sing, I can hula, I can needlepoint, and all at the same time. If you won't listen to us, maybe this will help. Listen, my time. This is Father O'Callaghan speaking. Why haven't I seen you at Mass lately? I'm Presbyterian, Father. <laughs> well, as long as I have the microphone, when Irish eyes are smiling... All right, all right, all right. We're coming in! <laughs> I knew you'd resort to this, but I am ready for you. Stay up there, Laurie Lynn, and don't let that quickie Pasadena smog bother you. <laughs> what a gal she is, and another great gal, of course, is our weather gal, who's not with us today. Oddly enough, there was no weather today. <laughs> so, from me to you, from the desert to the sea, from North Dakota to South Dakota, God bless you. Stamp out pollution, have a happy holiday, cross at the green, not in between, get firm-fitting shoes, and always remember, without yous, there's no news. <laughs>